Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. So last segment we finished off by defining our ports at each one of our nodes. So right now I just want to make a point here and point something out that's pretty important. You'll notice that I don't have, it doesn't look like I have any supports at one, at two, or at three, right? But if you remember, I mean, I'm pretty sure I defined some fixed supports at all of these uh, nodes. So S-Frame software, keep this in mind that it only displays them if you have your support tool selected, right? So notice how they just appeared now when I selected my support tool. But that it's funny because it doesn't work with your joint tool and your member definition tool, because if you have either one selected, they're both still showing. But your support tool, that one's different, right? So you have to have it selected to show your support actually there by selecting a different um, toolbar. It, this isn't saying that we're now taking the supports away. It's just saying that, okay, we're just not going to focus on those right now. So select your support tool, right click on your support. It goes red, properties. Now we're getting this joint property menu. And the most important thing that we want to deal with right now is remember how last video I explained what your X, Y, and Z degree of freedoms were. Quick review, X degree of freedom, if it's fixed, doesn't move. Y, fixed, doesn't move. Z is your moment rotation, fixed, doesn't move. Simple, okay? So now we want to put the, let's say for example, we want a pin support at joint number one. So can a pin move in the X direction? No. Can a pin move in the Y direction? No. Can a pin rotate? Yes. So click it, put it free. Now look at joint number two. Oh, notice how it doesn't change, doesn't update until you press OK. So look at joint number two. We want to have that as, uh, say, a roller so we can allow some translation in the X direction. So number two, X direction. Oh, yeah, we want to have that free. Boom, there you go. Y direction, fixed. Yep. Z direction, fixed. No, it can rotate because it's a roller. Free. And then just to be different, we'll leave three as a fixed support. So now that we've modified all of these, press OK. Boom, there you go. Now we got some updated supports. So at our one, we've got our pin support. That's what it looks like. At our node number two, we've got a roller support. And node number three is still a fixed support. So there you go. Now we've defined our support tools and we're running out of time so we're not going to do any loads until next segment <laughs>